What's up everybody, it's Rebel Racer. So, start some things off. Okay, so I know I told a lot of you guys I don't drink. Which is technically true, but I think I should mention that I do drink occasionally, and usually what I drink is Fireball, guys. This is really good. Um, cinnamon taste, I love that. So let me take a sip of this, and then we'll get started. So, first things first, let's get started. So yesterday, I bought some flags from my room. Heritage, not hate, rebel flag. And of course, this one right here. Got that snake, with the skull. I'm not big on snakes, but I love that. Swords, the rebel flag, the skull. As you guys know from other videos, I'm a big fan of skulls. So there's my two new flags. Now, the heritage not hate. Let's uh, get into what that's actually saying. Okay? So, a lot of people believe that the Civil War was all about slavery. That's not true. Mm hmm. A new thing too, new lighter, Harley Davidson man. No, it wasn't about slavery. Civil War itself was actually about really the North and South. The South was screwing the North and vice versa. I'm not going to get into it because I'm not a history major, but that's really, it wasn't about slavery, guys. But a lot of people believe the rebel flag is racist and it's bad and it's not. And it's not, man. Heritage, not hate. What that is saying is, that is not a hate flag. It is, I'm not, I'm not against blacks, I'm not against Mexicans, I'm not against anybody, I'm, my heritage, my confederate heritage, my southern heritage is not hate. That flag, this flag represents the confederate army during the civil war. This flag symbolizes you know, rebels, rebellion, the rebel flag. Now you can disagree if you want, but it's not about hate, not at all. Not at all. Now, excuse me while I find the shirt. Um, I want to show you guys uh, this shirt here. I wore it the other day. Some laundry um, here, but I should have probably worn it in the next video. But you know, get new clothes, people, and you know, really don't think about you know, clothes to wear. I'm going to tell you, this kind of looks small, and it's really not as small as it looks. Um, so, 13th of this month went to what's called the Dolly Parton Stampede like this Dolly Parton Stampede it's actually a show and I, at this the Dolly Parton Stampede there's a pre-show before the real show which you know these people sing and play instruments there was one guy with a banjo man I mean he put it behind his head and was playing it like this while he spun around and shit I mean it was awesome there's that. Uh, it's just basically it's this big show. I mean, it's freaking awesome. I mean, there's horses and bison. It talks about you know the Indians, pioneers, and it talks about West. And I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, the show is just like so cool. Um, you know everything that's about it is just so awesome because. 
you don't get to see that very often, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the reason that it's so cool is because, you know, you got all this other stuff. Now, what I got here is another thing I also got from the gift shop. Dolly Parton Stampede. This is the original creamy soup. That's the appetizer they give you for the meal. At the meal they give you. And this meal, man, you get like almost this little chicken. Like this almost little whole chicken. You get a um, little piece of ham. You get biscuit. Man, hey, dip your biscuit in this. Whoa. It's good. Got that. I mean, this stuff is just really kind of cool. I mean, if you guys ever come down here to Tennessee, you know, and you look that up, it, it happens in, I believe, um, Pigeon Ford, or Pigeon, yeah, Pigeon Ford, I believe, I mean, th there's a lot of stuff in Pigeon Ford, but, um, this right here, though, you know, um, it, it, it was just an amazing show, I believe, yeah, Pigeon Forge, that's what it is, I'm sorry, guys, Pigeon Forge. But yeah, I mean, they have all these really cool acts and all kinds of stuff. I mean, guys, this is, I mean, it's awesome. So if you get a chance, there you go. Giants, cigars, so. So I mean that I mean there's there's bison, there's horses, they dance, they sing. I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, people there are just awesome. I mean, you can shake their hands after the show and all. It's 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 awesome. It's awesome. I also bought another shirt now. If any of my fans or people are Democrat, well, I'm sorry, I'm not Democrat, I am Republican. So, Trump 2020, man. Trump for president. I am Republican. As I think I mentioned before, I am Republican and I am voting for him this coming election. If you want to hate me for it, feel free to do so. <clears throat> it's not going to change my decision either way. I think Trump's the best man for the job. And if you all are Republican and are voting for Trump, good. Glad. But yeah, those are some of the things. Now, another thing too, guys. You've all seen my room before, or parts of it, anyway. Here. Room. Well, we're moving. This room. stuff. I mean, there's a Jurassic Park ride, like a riverboat ride. Um, there's tons of stores where you can get all kinds of cool stuff. There's candy centers, arcade centers. There's 
just a whole bunch of stuff in Pigeon Forge as well as the, the Stampede. That's something you gotta check out if you guys ever come to Tennessee. Um, you know. I mean, it, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So. Um. Yeah, if you guys, uh, have any more questions about the Stampede or about the shirts or about the flags, um, both of those were 10 bucks. Uh, roadside thing, $10 for each, $10 for both. So 20 bucks each. I think they're pretty cool. No? Rebel all the way. Always. Also, uh, last thing, shout out to Madman. Got the shirt. Cryptic art. American Greasers, guys. American Greasers. So, shout out to Madman. And, um, that's it for right now, guys. So, hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I still have blonde hair, I know. So, until next time. Same greaser, same greaser channel. Stay greasy, guys. Stay sexy, chicks. Be cool. Keep it rocking, Billy. Really.